Okay, great stuff. Let's do 116. Um, again, I'm sure you've looked at this. Demand for product is 5,000 units, um, and the price is 400 and 6,000 units. The price is 380. And what we have here is that I th I'm just going to draw the curve so you can sort of see what, what's going on over here. So what we are saying is that when we are at, when we're producing 5,000 units, the price is... 400 and if you drop the price to 380 people will buy 6000 units so the question here is what is the gradient or what is the if you like um by how much does the price fall for extra one extra unit so to speak and so that's what we do here what we can sort of I mean simply saying what's 400 minus 380 divided by if you like 6,000 minus 5,000 so just the high versus the the rise versus the run or the the gradient if you like and so you have here 20 over 1,000 and so this B so to speak becomes 0 0.02 so our equation is really P is equal to A minus BQ isn't it so we now know what B is so that's great. So I can pick any. I could just pick this one. I can pick this option here of 5,000. So that means that the price of 400 is equal to A, where A is the sort of price where we could almost not sell anything. And M 400 is equal to A, which is what we're looking for. A minus, where B is 0 0.02. And Q, of course, is 5,000. So A is 400 is equal to A minus 100, and A is equal to 500. So now I have my equation firmly that P is equal to 500 minus 0 0.02 Q. And that's this one here. So the MR is literally, like we said, we agreed that we just um, multiply the B by 2. And the MR becomes 500 minus 0.04Q. And that gives us the answer as, as D. And carrying on with 117, really, 117 is a continuation of 116. All this information is the same. They're just giving us some additional information. The variable cost of the product is 200. So now they're giving us the cost side of the story. And they're asking, what is the optimum price? So we know that optimal price happens when MR is equal to MC. We know that, right? So, the, and we know what MR is. We just worked that out. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, so we know that MR is 500 minus 0.4Q. So MR is equal to zero five five hundred minus zero point zero four Q and we know this is equal to MC at the optimal point. So we know that two hundred is equal to MR is equal to five hundred minus zero point zero four Q. So I know that two hundred is equal to five hundred minus zero point zero four Q. And I mean I know therefore that um Q is equal to, once I rearrange this, right, Q must be equal to 500 minus 200 divided by 0 0.04. And you plug all this in, you find that Q is equal to 7,500 units. So that's the number of units that we need to sell at up to, to be at optimal point. So we just come back to the equation because the question says, what's the optimal price? So we know the equation for our price. Price is equal to 500 minus 0 0.02 times Q. And so 500 minus 0 0.02 times 7,500 units, 0 0.02 times 7,500 units is equal to 150. So P is equal to 500 minus 150. So therefore P is equal to 350. Yes? Right. Brand new game is about to be launched. The game is unique. So it's, it's unique. So we can do some, definitely some price skimming there. As soon as you see that brand new game, game is unique definitely price skimming, and can only be played on a certain console, so complementary um, product pricing. Another one of the business products of complementary students are entitled to a small discount, a price discrimination. So price skimming, penetration pricing, why not take your, why, why, why waste, why waste an opportunity to make as much money as you, as you can? Price skimming, yes, product complementary product pricing, yes. Um, 
and price discrimination. Yes, uh, definitely these three are the best product line. I wouldn't call it part of a product line. It's just um, you can buy it with um, the, the console. So definitely this penetration, price skimming, and and um, price discrimination definitely are the best ones there. Okay, great. So let's look at this again. You can start doing this almost without drawing a graph. You can sort of see that the change, can't you really? You can start to see that really what we're talking about here is that um, when we go from 400 to 380, we are going from 5,000 to 5,500. Sorry, this is not the best. <laughs> this graph is a bit me a second. Um, let me just get my pen back. Let's do something that more that looks like that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, there we are. So the key point here is that we know that we're talking about a change of 20 over a change of 500, which brings B, the gradient, which is what we're looking for here, right? That change into 20 divided by 500 is equal to 0 0.04. So I know my answer is one of these, minus, it must be, it's a minus because the curve is sloping downwards. So I just need to find out what that A is, what the fixed, what the price is that really we can't really sell anything for. So we know, I'm just going to take the first one, we know that 400 is equal to A minus 0 0.04 times 5,000 units. So 400 is equal to A minus 200, and therefore A is equal to 600. So my standard equation will equation will look like this. P is equal to 600 minus 0 0.04 Q, and your answer here is B, is B. Great, so this carries on again, 120 carries on literally from 119. So now they're telling, we've, we've worked out all our information on the previous slide. So we knew the answer was, we went with B, 600, P is equal to 600 minus 0 0.04 Q, and we therefore know that MR is equal to 600 minus 0 0.08 Q. So, um, and we know that the, at the optimal point, marginal, marginal cost is equal to this. And they're telling us in the question, if we look at it, um, you see, let's get there. We look at it, it tells us the variable cost is 80. So if I come here, so that means that 80 is equal to 600 minus 0 0.08Q. This is where I'm going to find the optimal quantity. So let's play around with this. So I'm going to have... 600 minus 80 is equal to 0 0.08Q. So that's 520 is equal to 0 0.08Q. So what is Q? Q is 520 divided by 0 0.08. Let's just do that. 520 divided by 0 0.08. I get 6,500. So my optimal Q is where Q is equal to 6,500. Right, and the question is asking, um, therefore, the optimal price is, so let's just look, th look at that. So the optimal price, therefore, and we know what P is. We know that P is equal to 600 plus 0, sorry, 600 minus 0 0.04Q. So Q is 6,500. So I'm going to multiply 0 0.04 times 6,500 times 0 0.04. I get 260. 260. So um, this whole thing here is 260. So therefore, P is equal to 600 minus 260. And P is therefore equal to 340. P is equal to 340. So, um, oops, yes, my mouse. Here we are, 340. And that's the end of that. Brilliant. So there we are. So the answer here is 340. Great stuff, guys. And that's the end of those questions, and I'll see you in the next set of questions. Okay.